Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Tech Geek. Today I'm going to show you how to use WPS projector um, with a USB on the ABS HD 6K 4th generation projector. Now to start off, you need to get your USB with all your documents on it and we're just going to put that into the projector. So at the back of the projector, as you can see, there are two USB ports. Um, literally you pop in your USB into one of those ports, as you can see as I'm doing. And if we just go back onto the screen, you will see there will be a notification on the bottom right of your screen saying preparing your speed drive, then it will be done. And you can see an icon at the top say showing that there has been a device that is connected. Now to access this, you can go on to file manager and there will be a, um, a section of external storage, which is the USB drive itself. Internal storage is the projector itself. Or you can go right to the left and you can see mobile storage is also there, which is your USB. That's just generally for all of the different ports. So if anything's been entered in those ports, you can access it from the side. But I'm going to emphasize on using WPS projector. Now, this is really useful, especially I would say especially for business use, because it's good for presenting documents when it comes to like presentations, spreadsheets, Word documents, etc. So usually a scan, a, a QR code thing comes up. This doesn't really work for me, so I really avoid that. But you have the section at the bottom where it has local documents. That's for the projector itself. So you just ignore that. Removable disk, that is for the USB that we've just entered. I'm just going to click onto that and you'll see there'll be a list of everything that is in my USB. Now, I'm just going to show you an example of um, a document for the USB. So I will just go down to a PowerPoint. Um, these are just quick examples and there's nothing important in these PowerPoints. So when you first go onto it, you have the different play modes. So we're just going to show you play for now. Um, this is just so you can navigate yourself when you want to flick through the presentation from the remote itself. So you can flick through and you can see that everything is pretty much clear. Um, there's no really issues and everything. And I will just quickly add in another option of auto switching. So this is, they have like a minimum of three seconds to five, 10, 15 and 20, I think yeah 20 um so this is just quite useful when you're having like a set timing of your presentation so you don't need to worry about flicking through and being delayed because obviously you catch up with the presentation now just connect to the usb mouse to show you the link now this is obviously a web browser link um and i'm just going to access that through the browser not youtube even though it's a youtube video um you obviously you go to a browser link always put browser usually like another notification comes up and it will say either just once or always i would suggest always and as you can see it has opened up the link for me um so you don't really need to have like another device or anything open because everything can be done from the projector itself which i do recommend having a usb mouse to do that as it would be a lot easier um i will also show you a word document because that's quite important as well. So the Word document, obviously, you have A4 and you, the A4 is split in half. So you understand what I mean when I open it. So this is just a sample document. This is nothing important from Word itself. And the whole, this is like a whole A4 paper, but you can see there's a split in the middle. And that's because obviously it's not going to show the whole A4 paper at once because that's going to be quite big. So it splits into two and it's still really clear and it, navigate slowly through it instead of going through one half at a time so it's actually quite useful when you're reading through things as well and it's quite useful to use spreadsheet as well so i was opening up a spreadsheet again this is nothing important um this is just a sample spreadsheet and it's quite clear and you can navigate through the cells from the remote or the usb um usb mouse that you may use if you want um so it's pretty clear it's quite useful for businesses like i'll keep saying and you can see that i have also got a video um downloading apps this is another video for my channel and it'll say the file format is not supported and you can also see that i also have an image to show you if i just go down i have an image yeah thumbnail if i click onto that it also tells me that the file format is not supported now um don't worry about this because wps projector is for presenting documents really so to just to do this you go back onto file manager you click on ex external storage and you can literally like i said you can access your documents here you can access your um presentations here as well 
and if I just click on my video that I have, literally I can start playing it. So you don't need to worry about if it doesn't work on WPS projector, it will work through here. And you and it's not just a standard play, pause, etc. It's got quite a few settings on the projector itself. So you, obviously you can tamper with the volume of the of the video. Um, I don't have the audio on this video right now. And you can literally, there's a different settings. So you even have a settings for selecting what time you want to start the video or when you want to skip to, which is actually quite useful. Not a lot, not a lot of um, video players actually have that, but that's actually quite useful. Um, and you also have an information area of information about the video. Um, and you also, oh, another thing that I've just recently discovered on this is there's a section where in the next setting on the side, if I just click down on that, um, there's a part of A, B section repeat. Now that's just literally you pick two points of the video and it will keep repeating those points, which I think is actually really useful um, a lot of the time, especially when it comes to tutorials when you want to keep replaying a certain part just so you can get the hang of it. Um, so it's quite useful. So I'm just going to scroll down to thumbnail. Now you can see it's a bit muddled up. I'm not really sure why my projector does that, but it hasn't actually affected anything. So I'm not really making a big issue out of it. And you can see the image, I'm just zooming into the image because it's quite small. And pretty much on the wall it, that I was um, projecting on, it was okay, like it was decent quality and everything, nothing's really gone down. Um, so it was actually quite useful to use USB drive on the projector because you can really access a lot. Now to remove the projector safely, you click up and you go to eject mobile storage and you just click on that. And you'll wait until the notification at the bottom goes. Once it goes, you can see the icon has also removed and you literally get rid of that USB. Um, this is just to prevent data loss. Now, I hope this has really been useful. I hope um, WPS Projector is actually well used for businesses because I know Office can have a few issues. If you do have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Please like and subscribe for more videos. And I hope this video really helps you out. And I hope you have a good day.